So I was just thinking, how are they going to reach people like me? Maybe you could say that like I'm ignorant about what's going on in the world because I'm this positive person. I'm thinking, okay, focus on the positive. The world's beautiful, this and that. But being raised in Canada, obviously we have to, in Toronto, we compost in my house, we recycle. I never litter. Um, I'm a bit sensitive with the water, obviously as not as, um, sensitive as in Australia because they have the droughts and things like that and it, how would you capture someone like me because I think that I do my part in the world but there's obviously more to do so that's what I want to know how would you capture someone like me so, so yeah Elaine I think that what you could do um, is just first of all realize that every single gesture everything we buy everything every time we decide to take a car, a plane, every time we decide to eat meat, it's something that has an impact on the planet. And we don't think about it very often because we see it all over, you know, it's all around us, people eat or transport themselves in a certain way. So I think what you could do on a very individual level, see things that are easy, is for example, reduce your consumption of meat, um, reduce the usage of the car, uh, fly less. Or fly less? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, why don't you become a vegan? And I you know, should. <laughs> Actually, it's um, it's really interesting because the last um, few months I've been very turned off to meat, and I've just been like looking a little bit. I don't. I'm kind of blind because I know it exists. Um, you know, with like the cows and like the treatment of animals, and that makes me sad within because the, right. the like the cruelty and the pain of the animal and then going within me so I have noticed that there is a shift in becoming more conscious of what I'm eating um, and that you know the wheat and like all of the work it takes to produce one pound of meat and this and that that's so, awesome. but that's another thing that gets me is like we talk about all those negative things, like you know, the treatment of the animals, the impact on the environment. But what we forget to mention is like is the health benefits of not eating meat. Oh yeah, like everything that is high in cholesterol and high in fat is animal protein. And so you have one vegetarian day a week or one vegan day a week, and it makes a huge difference in your own health and it makes a huge difference exactly. in the health of the planet. Okay, it's and I mean, about it's you. something so small that anyone can do. It's not that hard to eat vegetarian; it's cheaper even usually. So mm -hmm. you know what you're doing. You know, and what about for transportation? So you're both cyclists. Yeah, we've, and, and it's another thing. I mean, like cycling. The, actually, studies have shown that cyclists in cities breathe cleaner air than people in cars. Because oh, really? In cars, you're in recycled air that's all polluted, and in a bike, you just pass through it, and you're farther from the cars, and you don't get it. So I mean, it's cleaner air, more exercise, it runs on fat, and saves you money. Is that what they say about bikes? So um, and so it's a wonderful thing.